Hi, I'm Crystal. I live at Lansdowne Court. I'm going out again after that parcel incident. <laughs> nice yellow car there. Um, I did know what was in that parcel because I opened it by mistake and it was a Samsung mobile phone but I've still got my green Nokia. <laughs> in fact, it was a postman's mistake. Like I said, I've had parcels gone missing and stolen and one was a pair of jogging bottoms that never got returned and somebody signed for it but obviously they didn't have a guilty conscience and they never sent my parcel back. But Oh, look at those bright lights coming at me. Oh dear. <laughs> um, Dan is Gail's son. That's got Kidan on it. Uh, Gail's son wears glasses, like mine. Parked on yellow lines, but the lights are flashing right in my eyes. I'm supposed to be angry. I just think they're a bunch of plebs. It's an elderly couple as well. Can't drive properly. <laughs> Old road. You see, I'm supposed to have no money. My parcels have gone and look at this lovely gentleman. Right material, isn't he? <laughs> well, he's got a nice gold bracelet round his wrist, but you know. Oh, look at that taxi. There's the blue water bus going up to David's. I had a conversation with the postman. He's a really nice gentleman, actually. Every time I walk past these women, they stink. No, not nasty. Like they've just come out of the shower. Davis Estate, Chatham, Gillingham, the 101. I don't belong to anybody, I belong to me. 
If anyone wants to talk about it, come and tell me about it. I'll listen. I'm not going to say I do anything about it, mind. The Ugman, sorry, workers there. Huge Ugg on their backs for ugly. That's me. See, I don't lie. Phone in hand, tossing their hair. See? Mind you, you've got to turn round. Is there anything to show but long hair and a phone? <laughs> oh, and that reminds me, even when people have got long hair, do you remember Sunita's wig in the newspapers? Everyone thought Sunita had long dark hair, then she, a wig, uh, someone came across and pulled her wig off. I remember that one. Looks and things can be deceiving. That mobile phone she's holding could be stolen property, it could belong to someone else, it could be a contract phone, she could be in debt. Don't worry about it.